We are going to visit the crocodile pool. <laughs> In Gambia. In Gambia. With, with G. G and George. George. Yeah, with George. Cho -cho. You know. <laughs> Once again, it's a great experience from the croc pool in the Gambia. Our lovely friends are going to say good morning to Charlie and say can with Charlie. <laughs> yeah, man. Let's nice do one. it. In Lamin, there is a natural crocodile pool, where crocodiles were living for a long time. Now it's one of the main attractions for tourists. A special thrill is to touch a crocodile. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah. The guides told us it's absolutely Hello. safe to touch them. They are not hungry and they are not active because their body temperature is too low. But you know, it was very scary. After that great experience, we went to the beach to see how the local fishermen are fishing. They went out and put a net into the water. Then they pulled it back to the beach. Everyone was helping with this heavy job. The guys just went back from shrimp fishing. Now they sell all the shrimps on the beach, on the harbour. On our way to the fishing market we met again the monkeys. It looks like the cats are afraid of the monkeys and they have to wait until the monkeys are finished eating. I don't like shrimps, but Nicole... Love it. She loves it. Today there is a lot of shrimps and the market is very crowded. <laughs> they are cooking oysters and a lot of trading is going on. Our catch from this morning from the fish market, fifty dollars. See, that's mean it's one euro just for this huge, huge uh, lumpy. Some a lot of. Small shrimps, they not so small, they even big. So we pay for a kilo like three, three euros and on the market they they go to sell it more expensive. And I love the shrimps. We made friends with Tom and Simona and they invited us to go surfing. Tom has a surf school and Simona is a doctor at the local hospital. Today we go surfing. Nicole, are you ready? I did not surf a lot in Holland, 
-huh. And when I was back in the Caribbean, I used to surf nearly every day. If there as well. But, uh, so we have here Tom, he is a surf instructor. <laughs> he has a surf school here. A beautiful girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> So Tom, this is uh, like your favorite surf spot here? Yeah, or? nearly my favorite surf spot. It's really... It can work really good on Southwest Wells. And uh, as you can see, if the water goes down a little bit, you have some more rocks here in front. But yeah. for the rest, you can surf it. It's very nice. Now it's the day where we are living again. We are leaving Gambia. It's uh, really time to leave because the rain season has started and it gets very hot and humid. So that's our little engine. And it's not working like it should. I hoped I can make a quick fix of the engine, but it turned out to be much a bigger problem. We were not using the engine for three weeks and probably some sediments inside the cooling system jammed now the, the impeller and the pipes and there is still no water coming off the control pipe. Probably we have to take it apart and uh, change the impeller or just clean it. But it means this weather window will go away without us sailing. The impeller still looks quite fine. Some of the blades are on the wrong side. So we should uh, change it as soon as possible, but for now it should work. So that cannot be the problem. Um, we still don't know what the problem is. I will put everything together again and uh, give it another try. Hopefully it will work. The engine uh, is in the cockpit, that's not a good sign. We are still here. We uh, took the engine apart and still don't know where the problem is. It is not cooling. Hopefully we will find the problem soon and uh, hopefully we will get a weather window again and we will leave. Every sailor knows uh, that happens. This time it happens to us. We are quite disappointed but that's life that happens and uh, looking forward to solve the problem and uh, then we will see what we can do when we can leave. Mm -hmm. 
What comes next? It's our test installation for the engine. Tom and I repaired the engine the African style. <laughs>